Question 7, part A. Write down the fraction of this shape that is shaded, giving the answer in its simplest form. Well, just to find the fraction that's shaded in, we've got 9 squares that are shaded out of a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That will be enough for at least one mark, but remember it said give your fraction in its simplest form. So we have to look to see if we can simplify this fraction any further. So what number will go into 9 and 15? Well obviously 1. 2 won't divide in equally, but 3 will. So if we do 9 divided by 3, we end up with 3. Do the same to the denominator, so 15 divided by 3 is 5. And we end up with 3 over 5, or 3 fifths. Now there is no other number that will go into both of these, so your final answer in its simplest form is 3 over 5. Part B says write 9 over 10 as a decimal. There's a lot of ways to do this. The easiest way is just to memorize the fact that 1 tenth can be written as 0.1. That first number after the decimal place is called the, is called the tenths column. So if I want 9 tenths, then I've got a decimal of 0 0.9. Part C. Tanya says that 75% is greater than 0.8%. Is she right? And explain your answer. So we've got two parts to this question. We have to say, is it right? But also explain it. Without an explanation, we will get zero marks. Now, 75%, it can also be written as three quarters. Or we can also say... That's 75% can be written as 0 0.75. Now 0 0.75 is less than 0 0.8. So it is one of the ways in which we can prove this answer. Apologies, my pen stuck. The other way we could prove this would also be to say that 0.8 is the same as saying 80%. So there's our reasons. We can use either of these justifications to prove that one number is bigger or less than the other. But Tanya said 75% is greater than 0.8. Well, it's obviously not. 75% is less than 80%. So what we're going to have to say is no, because she's not right. And use one of our justifications just to prove it. I think the easiest one is to write percentage as a decimal. So 75% is 0.75 as a decimal. Now, that alone might not be enough, so just to really clarify our answer to show our understanding, we can say 0 0.75 is less than 0 0.8.